Sarah Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So today we're going to talk about how to make templates for your Etsy stores, Pinterest pins, or you can make templates for your Facebook posts. You can make all kinds of different stuff in here. I just do Pinterest pins, but hold on. Let me show you all the things. You could do it for your Facebook, for your Twitter, for your YouTube thumbnail. And I want to start by telling you that I have been a diehard Adobe Photoshop, never going to change. Why would I get rid of all the stuff that I can do in Photoshop? And I literally have to think now, can I do this in Canva? Because if I can, it's so much easier than Photoshop. Um, so, and I, that's talking like 20 years of Photoshop versus a couple of years of Canva. And I love Canva. So what we're going to do is the first thing you want to do is you may have folders, okay? So you can make folders, and I have all my templates in a folder, and I checked, and you can have two folders in a free account. I would go with the paid account because you can get so much, um, so much value from it. You get access to all kinds of free stuff, all kinds of free pictures, free videos, things like that. But even if you're doing the, the, just plain old free Canva version, you can make templates. So these are my templates. This is a medium post template. And this is gonna have, um, so first off, I like to put the name on the first one and then I would delete this if I was using it to make one. You can then say, let's go back home because I like to do it this way instead. If I'm gonna make a design, I would come to all my designs and then go to my terrace templates. And then I would say copy, make a copy, right? So you can say move to folder, but I would say make a copy. You always want to make a copy. Now, say you screw up and you use your um, template. Ask me how I know this. Say you screw up, you alter your template and you're like, oh crap what am I going to do? All you're going to do is you're going to say file, make a copy. It'll make a new copy with all the changes you've made. And then you can go to your version history and go back before you made your changes. So that is super important. If you're going to learn anything, learn how to fix your templates if you ever mess them up. So now I want to show you my, one of my templates. And so, of course, I put my first page. You can always add new pages, add a new page. I put my first page with the name of the template. So this is the short page templates. That's going to be 600 by 900 or 2 by 3. Okay. My next page is all the fonts I like. And the way that I did this is I just copy paste, right? And I said, uh, words, 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 like 50 million times, okay? Words, 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 words. And then I highlighted this, and I went over here to the font. So say we like Open Sans, Extra Bold, Playlist, all this, Sunshine, right? I have all that, Silly Me. Okay, so say I wanted in Silly Me. Then I would type Silly Me so that I can see the font and the name of the font, right? So this is super helpful as I go through and create a template. Then this is the template literally from my blog. This is a master template for my artsy fartsy blog. And then I just have a whole bunch of different templates that I use. And I just keep adding to these. Now I have a gal, and I'll put a link to this, in um in the description a gal named carly she makes a lot of these templates and i don't always use them exactly the way they look in fact i'll show you a couple of things that that are her templates that you can't even tell so my personal favorite big centered text with a dealy bob right you would think that using templates you can't make it look like anything else but just today i made this one from that, right? Just big text. And you would never know it's that template. You're just using a, um, a basic 
something to start from and that makes it easier. I'm gonna also show you, oops, let's do this on another one. You can get free templates from Tailwind every month and Pinterest Pins Toolkit, okay? I'll put a link to this already. And then every month they give you free templates. So these are the July templates. And then you're just going to say use template. And then I always say file, save to folder. And then I put these in something called Tailwind templates, right? I have lots of templates because I paid, or lots of folders because I paid for it. But you could put all your templates in there, right? And this is holiday gift ideas for him. So we're going to delete this whatever this thing is, right? We don't want this. Ah! Sometimes it's hard to get them. Okay, so let's copy this. Anytime you get a template, this is what I do. So I'm gonna go home. And I'm gonna go to my short templates, Terrace templates. I'm going to say new short pages template, right? That's my, that's what I call it because I had an old short pages template. <laughs> I'm so good at naming my files. And then I would say file, make a copy, right? And then you always want to come up here and name it something that is right. Showing how to make templates, right? Just what it actually is. So I did a bunch of green cleaning posts today. I might do a how to make templates on um, for Etsy sellers, things like that. Okay, so now we want to add one. This would copy it. This would make an exact copy of it. We don't want an exact copy of it. We want a brand new blank page. I'm going to move this up. I like to keep the ones that I've done here. And you can just paste that in, right? So it's a little bow. It's picture, holiday gift ideas for him. So I could say... for my glamorously vintage. It's because I can't spell glamorously, people. Shops containing glamorously. Okay, so if I wanted to make this, I could say gifts for artists, right? Because this, these are all artists. These are in my artist um, set. And I'm going to take this picture because this picture is kind of cool. Right click, save as desktop. We're going to save it up there. What the net picture's name does not matter. We're going to say upload, upload an image, and go to my desktop. There's that picture. And I should be able to slide it right in here and cover that up. I don't need my logo. Oh, this is a good one. Okay, so this is actually clicking, and you can tell it's the ribbon, right? I don't want the ribbon. I want to get rid of that URL. So if you hit command and click it again, you can get to the second layer down. I'm going to say the best artist gifts for 2020. Okay, best artist gifts for 2020. Holiday gift ideas for her, right? I would rather have for artists. Artists. Do I need that little baby one? I might put this up here. So glamour or sleeve vintage. 
right? So there I have a pin that could be in, I could save this in my templates, right? And this could be one of my pins that I use. Okay, now you know me, I want to go to Pinterest and see what other kinds of templates I wanna make. So let's say artist supplies, that's what those are called. Okay, so the ultimate list of artist supplies for your creative team. So what this is, oh look, we have all these other ones, cool. So you could just use some of theirs, but we're gonna start a brand new one for our templates. And it's a square box, a square outline, two bars, and then words. Now see, I'm not cheating because I don't, I'm not trying to make it just like theirs. I'm just trying to get a basic outline of what Pinterest thinks that a good artist supplies pin looks like. So we're gonna go back, we're gonna grab our thing. We're gonna bring it up. Got my little flowers there. Now you may think to yourself, it's hard to tell what that is. Well, that's fine, I don't really care. I just need them to know. And then I'm gonna change this back color. So I like the red. Ooh, that's very bright. What colors is everybody else's stuff? Black, black, dark blue. I'm feeling like red is not the color, but I'm seeing a lot of little bit of yellow, little pops of yellow there too. So let's go and let's make this dark gray. Not quite black, but that'll match the, the um, flower frog I have here, right? And then we need to get a word. So we're gonna go to text, add a heading. Ooh, well, I can't cheat. So I'm gonna say the best, and I'm gonna use one of my fonts. You can upload your own fonts. If you start doing this, you're going to turn into a little bit of a font. Um, we call it a font whore. I was gonna not say it, but then I couldn't help myself. Because, you know. Okay, so I like cedar for this, text cedar. I have a link to a really, this set of fonts that has fun things. I'll make sure to put that in the description too. The best text artist supply. Now you may think artist supply isn't a very good word, but I want Pinterest to know that, that it's an artist supply, right? Another word, gifts. So this is, maybe just gifts go here. We'll see. Let's get rid of our artist supply. And we put that right there and make it black. Did that jump out? That's okay, I'm not mad at that. And then we're gonna go back to my favorite cedar, or cedar. Okay. So could we say gifts for 2020? Now, it's sad if you do a pin for 2020 because it won't work after this year, right? But with Pinterest wanting all brand new pins anyways, I don't know that pins, seasonal pins like this are gonna last more than a year. So it would be worth trying just gifts and then it would be worth trying um, uh, gifts for 2020. Now we can probably put this here, right? Now this will probably work. Artist supply. Okay, so let's move this up just a teensy bit. Look, there's that yellow and that yellow seemed to be doing good. So let's do the yellow. Okay, so that would be a good template, right? So what I would do is I would make this, I would post these pins, and then I would delete these, right? I would come here, I would delete this, I would add, a, I wanna know where the, the pictures are going. 
So I want to make sure I know that they like where they're going to be so that I can just have a template that I can pop in my pictures for each of the things I make. Now, I want to show you something else, and this is going to be in my Tailwind. And it's in this Tailwind, because I have one for Artsy Fartsy too, but this is the Marketing Artfully. Uh, I want my Pin Inspector. Where, which one do you think it is? That one? No, that one. I'm just going to click things randomly. Here we go. Come on. Pop pins. There we go. So what you're going to find as you do this, this has 182 repins. This is definitely not one of my templates that I have. It's something that I made doing what I did. So what I would want to do is almost recreate my own template. So let's see if we can go here. Go, we have a billion things open anyways because they open a new one let's go home and we're going to search for all my designs okay and then they don't have a great search for this so we want to search for printables and it's and it's shorter than this one it's not that tall okay there's printables on etsy let's see if we can find that pin because then you can just copy your own thing that's not the one let's go back printables printables this one i do lots of pins for selling printables i don't think it would be this one that was a very specific look And now this can feel a little kerfuffly, but I'm telling you that it's so much easier to be able to copy yourself than it is to have to keep going back and redoing and redoing. But if I found a pin, and I might have done that in, let's, let's go look at it again. I might have done that in Photoshop. So let's make that pin. Okay, so we have our... I don't think this would be, well, that could be a good one. I like to put all my, my good pins at the top. So bing, bing, good pins at the top, right? Bink, bink, good pins at the top. Now let's make a new one and we're gonna recreate. Oh, it made this. I just want a blank one. All right. Oh, it must have to have something there. Okay, that's fine. I can live with that. Okay, so we're going to delete this. And we can tell this pin is two on the top, one skinny, one on the bottom. So we need two on the top, one skinny, one on the bottom. And then we need a bar. Can we make it skinnier? I don't think we can make it skinnier. How can we make it skinnier? Okay, I would cheat. I would do this and that. Don't get hung up on doing things right. Just get hung up on getting them done because nobody but you is going to know those are two bars instead of one bar because I want it to be skinny, right? Skinny mini. Okay, perfect. And then plain text kind of kid text in the middle. We got to go to our text, add a heading. Words go here. I believe they were all uppercase. They are all, they're all, all uppercase. Okay. And these were all a thinner word than this. So we can try a few. Looks like it's a condensed, condensed. Mm, too fancy, 
too thin. That's okay. Oh, yeah, that'll work. Copy, paste, oops, copy, paste. And then it was more of a kid kind of word in the middle. Copy, paste. Okay. Uh, handwriting is what that would be called. Handwriting. And we don't want script. We want something like this to childlike. Uh, too fancy. That could work. Uh, I don't feel like that's heavy enough. What about this? Hate that. That's okay. That would be okay. I would probably leave that there in case I want to change it. Because don't forget, this is just a template. We're going to save this as a template, right? And this is going to be short template for a video, right? I got to name it something so I can delete it. Um, but so then you would save this with these ideas and then whenever you wanted to, you just come over, you say file, make a copy, and you can just pop your pictures in. So for this one, what I would do is I would go uploads. I'm gonna upload some of my product pictures. The ones that say D are done, so. Ribbed green bowl. Everybody likes ribbed green bowl. I would do this one in here. I would do maybe this one in there. Oh, that came out good. And then I need a wide one. Oh, wide one. Perfect there. And then, right, so then I would finagle this. If it would look better, if I could make this go up a little bit, then I would make this go up a little bit. Oh, don't forget those are two pieces. Oh, that's better. I'd probably pull this down a little bit. Choo, choo, choo. Give her just a little room to breathe. There we go. And I would say uh, ribbed glass bowl 100. Vintage kitchen. Collectible, right? Now, I don't like how that is making that so small, so I would probably pick a different font for that. Um, something that was taller. Okay, there we go. That is much better. So let's do 90. Let's do 85. I got to get this in here. Okay. Ribbed glass bowl. So what I honestly would probably do is this. Ribbed glass. Because collectors if you don't know collectors they know ribbed glass and make this bowl right I got a little bit more room I can use here I would probably make my bars a little bit more of the color of the uh, the napkin down here that looks a little bit less garish then pink, although pink is always appropriate, people. There we go. And that would be a really good template to have, right? And then once you know that this is going to look good for your shop, that's what you would do. So hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.